Max, we're going to need you to get involved very soon here. I need you to fucking keep a keen eye on what's happening. Uh, the funniest thing about that was watching there was uh, whenever you were chatting to Max, there was girls at the back getting a fucking creak in their neck trying to figure out what he looked like and to go, what's fucking, what's going on here? Um, girls, he's all right. He's all right. He's pretty fucking, pretty hot, like. Not hot enough to, for me to question his sexuality, hot. There's, and that's out there. It's hot, you know, but he's not that hot. But last year I met Chris Hemsworth. You know Thor? Guys, that is fucking hot. That is, like... I thought I was straight, and then I met him and realized I just grew up in a small town. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, fuck me. Like, guys, he's like 6'4", just muscles. He could just pick you up and hug you. And even if you didn't want to, but you would love it if he did it. And his eyes were so blue. I was just drowning in them. It was fucking amazing. Um, no, seriously. I, guys, if you're a straight guy and you're not a, attracted to Chris Hemsworth, I think you're gay. Like. <laughs> That's how that works. The, um, I love being here. Max all dressed up. I think you're all fucking really dressed up, guys. I've been impressed walking around Liverpool. Your fashion's just on point. Lots of perfect white teeth, which definitely doesn't look natural. But um, <laughs> some fucking very rich dentists around here. But um, no, but everyone's dressed well. Like, not everyone. Hey, come on. So Euro Millions night. You know, it's fucking you cut hit. Um, no, it is. It's all catwalk ready all the time. Like, I come from a very different place. Ours is more of a sort of a Victoria's Secret vibe with fashion. Uh, if the secret was a terrible diet and no exposure to sunlight your whole life, the, uh, <laughs> it's the fucking vampires just walking around. Um, the, uh, amazing. This is the best, man. You're so friendly. Uh, people have been really fucking wary of me recently. So I shaved my head, and uh, it turns out that I look quite, quite mental. Um, <laughs> Like, my dad seen me and he was like, oh, John, do you have uh, what they call resting cold dead eyes of a serial killer face? Um, it's difficult to hear, you know? So you can't really do much about that. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to smile more, but trying to smile more just makes you look fucking even crazier. <laughs> I, mean, I just look delighted to be mental. The, um, I knew it was a bad idea when I shaved my head because my Uber rating dropped two points. I thought, <laughs> I hadn't even ordered any. They're just fucking driving around going, fuck that guy. <laughs> Brexit head. I, um, actually, somebody called me Brexit head and I knew that's when I was going to keep it because I figured next year I'll be fine when my brothers get fucking booted back. They have to deal with my dad again. The, um, I, I love the Brexit stuff. Guys, I fucking love it. I think it's brilliant. It's class. People are losing their minds and that's the best thing in the world to watch. Do you know what I mean? You see it on Facebook all the time, those people are like, no. I will not be silenced anymore. And two minutes later, you just think, just shut the fuck up. Like, that's all you want, you know? They, even it, it's spreading. Even in Ireland now, people are gone on this Brexit thing. There's people in Ireland starting a movement for an Irish exit of the EU. But they're fucked from square one. <laughs> no, seriously, what are you going to call it? And a Brexit just sounds weird, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody's getting behind that. They, um, an erection, probably better, but um, no, but I love, I do love it here. I've been here for five years now, and uh, it's great. England's great, do you know what I mean? Cricket baffles me, but the Queen seems like a lovely wee woman. It's give and take, you know? <laughs> and so people, people are a bit weird, sort of weird and confused when I tell them that me, even as an immigrant, I'm actually pro-Brexit. No, not for any political reason, do you know what I mean? I couldn't give a shit about these clowns leaving the EU. I just can't wait until English girls find Irish men exotic again. <laughs> oh, guys.